Hello and welcome to our channel. I am Ellen and today we are going to talk about DMARC reports. These are uh, the integral part of DMARC implementation and key to protecting your domain from email spoofing. In this video, we'll discuss everything you need to know about DMARC reports, how to create them and how to read them. Let's get started. are DMARC reports. DMARC reports are crucial for monitoring and improving your email security. They contain essential information about the sending sources, the authenticity status of the email sent on behalf of your domain and many other details. This is your main working document if you want to achieve DMARC compliance. Uh, without monitoring and analyzing the DMARC reports, you won't be able to move to the reject policy, which is the full enforcement stage, without affecting the outbound email flow. But how to receive these reports? In order to receive DMARC reports, you will need to specify RUA and roof tags in the record and mention an email address to which you wish to receive the DMARC reports. Once you have the DMARC records set and published in the DNS, you can expect to get the reports within 24 hours. Here is a tip from me. Choose carefully what email address you are going to specify in the RUA and roof tags in order not to flood your inbox with DMARC reports. There are two types of DMARC reports, aggregate and forensic. Now let's go through each of the types and understand their role in the email authentication journey. Failure reports, also known as forensic reports, are simple copies of emails that fail authentication checks and sent to the root tag address shortly after the failure. These reports are in plain text containing uh, personally identifiable information PII, like the recipient's email address. And for this reason, failure reports are not supported by major ESPs like Google, Yahoo and others. Aggregate reports are what you are going to concentrate on to achieve your email authentication goals as it plays a big role in DMARC implementation journey. They are XML documents that contain information about the authentication results of SPF, DKIM and DMARC. These reports are being sent to the RUA address and contain no sensitive information about the email messages. Here is an example of DMARC aggregate report. It encompasses aggregate information, including Reporting ESP information, header from domain, DMARC disposition, sender's IP address, message authentication status and data, number of messages sent. The number of the XML files is overwhelming and troublesome to read. It is almost impossible to monitor and analyze them, let alone organize them. That's when EasyDMARC's DMARC Report Analyzer comes to the rescue. With our Aggregate Report Analyzer, we transform the complicated XML files into easy-to-read dashboard. Our algorithm also classifies the data into four tabs, making it easier and simpler to understand and monitor. We not only parse the files, but we also connect the dots, providing even more information to monitor them. This makes it easy to analyze the final results without any technical expertise. Now, everyone says that you need to monitor DMARC reports, but what does that mean and what actually you need to analyze? Let me show you. To start, make sure to set up your DMARC record and begin with the non-policy for monitoring. Once you receive reports on your outgoing emails, you can then analyze the data to enhance your email security. As you can see, our algorithm has classified the report into four tabs. The emails stored under the Compliance tab have passed the mark, while the ones under the Non-Compliant tab have failed the mark checked, but our algorithm has considered those to be legitimate sources. Threat unknown and forwarded tabs are informational to be aware of possible spoofing attacks and auto-forwarded cases. Your main working tabs are compliant and non-compliant ones. Note that DMARC compliance can be achieved with either SPF or DKIMPASS, thus we should also attend the compliant tab. Based on the email volume and the sending sources utilized, the monitoring stage can last for two weeks and more. Now that you have identified all your legitimate sending sources, 
you need to configure them with SPF and DKIM protocols and ensure DMARC compliance by further monitoring the data. Policy enforcement is to be done gradually so as not to affect the outbound legitimate email flow. And that's everything you need to know about DMARC reports and how to read them. Regularly monitoring and analyzing the reports is key to maintaining good email security. If you have more questions or concerns, feel free to reach out to our team at easydmark.com.